Welcome to Regular Visit 1. To perform a regular visit, simply touch the Regular Visit button from the Start screen. You can either select one of the patients you already have, or you can add a patient. To add a patient, simply touch the Add Patient button. Enter in their first name. You can do this through handwriting. You can flip it over and use a keyboard. You can do this any way that you want to do this. So we will say this person's name is Harvey Lillard. You can change the date if you need to by touching the um, arrow right here. And we're going to say he is male. The next thing it says is this is his first treatment. How is Harvey doing? Let's say this is not Harvey's first treatment. He's uh, somewhat, he's new to the program, but not new to the practice. So Harvey says he's doing slightly better. Before doing that, at any time, I can touch the Easy Options button and see all different types of data about this patient and see just his treatment data, see his last treatment note, put the patient in limbo, do an exam and return. But we're going to select a slightly better. Now it says pick the location of the patient's 20 or greater complaints. So we are going to touch his neck by touching anywhere on these figures here. It automatically brings up a list of things I can choose. So I'm going to say neck. And now it says how does Harvey rate his neck with 10 being the original intensity. And Harvey says it's a 3. We'll say Harvey also has um, low back pain. So we just touch in his lower back. Scroll down. You can see you have a tremendous amount of options to choose from. And we'll say Harvey says it's a 4. And I can continue to go on um, as long as I would want and with as many up to 20 different problems to rank for this patient. But we'll say this is it for Harvey. So we'll say done. Now what makes Harvey's symptoms worse? Harvey says it's worse when he plays golf, plays tennis, and whenever he stands for a long time and is working at the computer. When we're finished, we simply hit done. Next, what alleviates Harvey's problems? We're going to say, Harvey says getting adjustments, of course, seem to always help. Resting and um, maybe um, doing his exercises. Then we click done. Is Harvey doing his exercises? And Harvey says mostly yes, I've been very good about it. Choose Harvey's decreased ranges of motion. We're going to choose um, cervical and we're going to say it was left rotation and right rotation and then click done and maybe he had lumbar decreased left lateral flexion and then hit done. When we're finished with the ranges of motion we just hit done and now it says choose any tender tot fibers for Harvey. This works the same way as the problems we just touch the figure we say cervical musculature maybe we touch down here we say lumbar musculature and um, maybe we scroll down and we say left SI and then when we're finished, we hit done. If there's something interesting, you could always hit other. Please choose any applicable findings on this patient. Say Harvey maybe had bruising, and it was moderate, and it was over his left cervical region. And then we hit done. When we're finished with these, we just hit done. We can perform any orthopedic exam we want at any time. We're just going to hit skip here. Um, which one of Harvey's legs was functionally short? You can hit skip. You can pick whatever. You could also hit this green button here, which um, if Harvey had already been in here, our note would be completely done because it would re-randomize everything from here on out. But we're going to say right. Now here are all the different modalities you can do. You see yellow buttons down here. Yellow buttons are things you can customize and stick in your own modalities with your own wording and every time it's hit or touched it um, will stick it in there for you the exact same way you want. We're going to say we did interferential for 15 minutes 
and we're going to say we did it over his lower back. And you notice, and I didn't touch the figure here, I'm just hitting the button. Based on the patient's complaints, it gives me certain things. And we click done. Let's say, may, and we can do all these different things. We could say we did acupuncture or Graston or ART or anything. But we're going to say that's all we did on Harvey today. And we're going to say we're going to use diversified adjustments. And we're going to say um, all restricted segments with one to two regions. And then we're going to say done. Now it says, please choose the exercise form with Harvey. We can go to the exercise program and come back to it. Um, or we could just do one of the ones that are already built in. Maybe we did upper posture exercises with Harvey and concentrated on shoulder retraction exercises. Then click Done. Now it says, please choose a region where PNF stretches were performed on Harvey. We're going to say we stretched out his cervical traps, thoracic, lumbar, and maybe his hamstrings and click Done. Please choose the regions where trigger point therapy was performed on Harvey. We're going to select cervical, suboccipital, and maybe his piriformis muscle and lumbar musculature. And then click Done. We can do all different types of ADLs for Harvey, including nutritional support, to pillows, braces, but we're, we didn't do that on this visit, so we're just going to hit Done. How did Harvey feel after the treatment? I always like to ask this. Um, it's always, I always have fun with the patients when they sit there and say, oh, you beat me up today, doc. I usually just hit more range of motion. We say Harvey felt a little better. And I want Harvey to come back in three days, so I touch that button. And please choose Harvey's prognosis. I'm going to say good. And because he's responded well in the past. Now it brings us up to our digital super bill where you can see it has said that uh, based on one to two regions, um, that is already clicked for us, therapeutic activities, neuromuscular re-ed, and all that stuff. Notice down here the new diagnosis button is flashing because it's recognizing he doesn't have one. So we simply touch that and we say multiple regions and we're going to say he has um, the old 729, was it 739? I can never remember. I'm going to say cervical subluxation. And we're going to say, and you simply do these by touching, and it keeps track of them for you. And maybe we're going to say under miscellaneous he had some 728.85. Maybe he has in the lumbar region lumbar subluxation. And maybe he has, um, oh, let's say uh, pelvic subluxation. Or actually, I'm going to go with lumbosacral pain, and then click Done. And here we can choose the onset date, and we'll say uh, it started yesterday. And when we're finished, we hit Done. Brings us back here in case we wanted to change anything. Of course, there's a doctor's diagnosis where you can have your own custom diagnosis and um, for the things that uh, you want to find more quickly and everything like that. And if you're interested in that, um, we'll watch the setup video. When you're finished, hit Done. Brings us back to the Super Bill. Double check everything. And when we're finished, we hit Done. Now you can see it created a tremendous amount of notes here over absolutely everything that we did for Harvey Lillard. One of the great things that we've um, recently added, we add things every other week to this program, is now we can have the doctors and patients sign on the screen. So if you wanted to be completely paperless, you can. But to sign on the screen, simply touch the Doctor Sign On Screen button. And you'll notice a little thing comes for you to sign. And I'm going to sign his notes. And if it can recognize my handwriting, I'm sure it can recognize yours. You see. And then I simply hit Insert Signature. And it sticks it in there for me. I can hit Print and print this out. I can hit Exit. I can have Harvey sign it. 
and then I can hit exit. And when you, if you hit exit, you return back to the start screen.